best runner of the day. Alex Nye is stepping up to the starting line. And he's off. It's, you know, being the last runner is, I think it's tough in some ways. I think I, I always feel more pressure when I run later, but he also knows exactly what he has to do. Yeah, I mean, if it's my choice, I'm definitely going to choose to go last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and agree with you there. Pressure or not, but yeah. uh, no, I agree. There's definitely a lot of pressure. And here we go on to the ledge launch. It's gonna make a big move up, yep. Looks good here. Oh yeah. Okay, so Swan, you're the last runner here. You're in Alex's shoes. Mm-hmm. He's wearing Zante's, so I'm pretty happy with the shoes I got on. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. It's a good save. What's my strategy? Uh, I think just like we're seeing from Alex is I'm not looking to rush it. I'm not looking to try to beat uh, Max's time to the hanging boards. I'm thinking completion. I think go smooth and don't get, you know, overworked or anything like that. And so when I get to the hanging boards, I feel good. And he's into the tilt bridges. And I do, I like this a lot. It's just... He's not rushing anything. He's taking his time. Nice catch mm -hmm. on the UFO there. Nicely done. Yeah, one thing that, that I like to think about is always running your course. And what I mean by that is not trying to get sucked into what everybody else is doing. And in this case, running last, like you could easily think, ah, if I just beat Max's time to those hanging boards and go super fast, I lock in my top three spot. But would you, would you go that fast if somebody told you, hey, here's your course, run it? You know, and I think that's, that's what I think about when I'm running courses like this and I run late, is to think, I'm gonna run my course in the best of my ability to beat this entire course, especially when there are only two finishers so far. Yeah, and I mean, the strategies are interesting because, you know, for Alex taking the rest here, which I really like, I'm a big fan of this, you kind of distribute your energy throughout the course versus like somebody like Jesse, went super fast to the boards and then had a ton of time to rest. Yeah. And honestly, I think Jesse could have beat it, but I think he just made a, just a small, you know, tactical error. Well, maybe not small, but I like what we're seeing. He's looking smooth. He's at 235 right now, so he's actually ahead of where Adam Rail was at the same spot. I mean, but the big question here is, do you have the fingertip strength? Yeah. to hold on to these flywheels. Well, he's got the swing for sure. I mean, he's looking good here. Nice, he A is. Nice catch in the middle. Come on, Alex. It's a lot of swings. He's, he's locked off. Oh. And you could see his elbows were bent. He was locked off. He was holding up high.